All right, week six of the college football season. I've been pretty busy this past couple days, but um, I know it's a little late. Maybe far later than I thought it would be, but it's we're, we're ready. And week six has already technically started. Now the game, the SMU-UCF game had to be moved to Wednesday, which is tonight. So uh, that game probably already went final. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, the rest of week six is going to be interesting. Are we going to talk about a uh, Are we going to talk about A and M? Yeah, we're going to talk about A and M. Yeah, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about Arkansas. We're going to talk a little bit about you know all, all those some of these teams that have been just kind of struggling so far. And you'll notice that the Texas Oklahoma game has no but not not one of those two teams are ranked so we're not even gonna talk about it I'll mention it here just cuz I'm a Texas fan and that that game is you know ESPN of course is putting all you know their ad dollars into that game when that game probably doesn't even matter anymore like the game doesn't even matter for the purposes of a national championship and honestly potentially for the purposes of a big 12 title too it could not matter less, honestly. But in the end, we have other things to discuss. We have other Big 12 teams to discuss, so let's get to it. In the noon slate, I'd say uh, skip these first two, but we're going to talk about them anyway. That's Arkansas, Mississippi State, as Will Rogers and KJ Jefferson battle. But you kind of wonder which defense here is going to shine a bit more. I'm leaning towards Mississippi State's. A lot of people, a lot of people are, you know, leaning towards Mississippi State's defense being able to do a lot better because Arkansas's defense has just not been great so far, and it's just, it's a com, it's gonna be a common thing with this preview for the night. I'm, I'm telling you because there's a lot of bad defenses at all in some of these games. You got Michigan, Indiana. Yeah, another big noon game for Michigan. I know it's wild. Um, it could have went, you know, Fox could have went to, you know, just switch the games around for uh, for um, this um, the fourth game in the noon slate that we'll talk about. But that's neither here nor there. As long as the Wolverines keep improving, they can get by Indiana. It, but I don't know. I haven't felt that Michigan has really done anything impressive so far. They really have not. Again, Iowa's offense was not that great. Their defense, they did enough. I, Iowa's defense did enough to keep them in the game because, again, it was 20 to nothing and then it turned to 20 to 14 that quick. You know, yeah, it took a little while because, you know, it took Iowa to the fourth quarter to get even, you know, two touchdowns. But it was still kind of dangerous towards the end in which Michigan had to put it away. Maryland, same thing. They had to, they had to wait until late in that game to put it away. Michigan, I don't feel like Michigan is the number 4 team in the country and I, I I genuinely don't know why people are thinking that Michigan is oh well, you know Michigan's going to go all the way to Ohio State 11 and 0. I just don't think that's going to happen. I feel like Michigan is due for a loss at some point. It could be on Saturday against a 3-2 and Indiana team that got the break speed off of them by Cincinnati just last week. Tennessee LSU, one of my highlighted games. You know, it's a good one. Hendon Hooker, Jalen Wright, the up-tempo Vols offense going up against a good, good Tigers defense. Brian Kelly's got them, you know, doing good things out there. And this one's going to be a good one in the noon slate. If you don't want to watch Oklahoma, Texas, or, or this next game, I suggest you watch this one. This one's going to be real good. It's going to be real interesting. But honestly, the game of the week, the game of the week, in my opinion, TCU, Kansas, where is defense when you need it? Because it's not going to be here. Max Duggan, Jalen Daniels, game day. Coming to Kansas for the first time ever. It's going to be one hell of a game. Going to be watching this one for sure. Um, Tennessee LSU, I'll just like keep it, you know, I'll, I'll switch back and forth from it. But I'm keeping my eyes on this TCU Kansas game. We're going to be watching the Big 12. 
you know, Big 12 for brunch, baby. Big 12 for brunch. That's what we should do. We should do the hashtag, you know, on Twitter. Big 12 for brunch. I'm going to do it. You might see me. You might see my tweet. Big 12 for brunch, baby. That's what we're going to do. In the afternoon, uh, we got USF uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati finally back on track to being that group of five team that will be the highest ranked. You know, as of right now, there is still a Tulane Green Wave team lurking. But Ben Bryant, he shouldn't have too much trouble against USF. USF's pass defense is uh, not good. Actually, USF's defense in general is not good. Just terrible. Like, have you seen South Florida's defense this year? Have you seen that? Have you seen that defense? I think you have. We talked about it. They're bad. They're bad, bad. Auburn, Georgia, I have highlighted just because, um, you know, because I think the dogs, they need to come back weak. But they sh they've been struggling lately. And, you know, Auburn has a bad offense too, like Missouri's. But Auburn is technically more competent than Missouri because Missouri lost to Auburn. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking maybe. Maybe, just maybe, Auburn can do something here. I doubt it, in all honesty, but there's still an opportunity for something good to happen for Auburn. Not not for Georgia and not for everybody else around the country, but for Auburn. This could be interesting. It, you know, one of the oldest rivalries in the Deep South, you know, you know, being played in October this year because, yeah, that's just how it is. Another big one, number 11, Utah. Number 18, UCLA. Dorian Thompson Robinson. Chip Kelly and the Bruins go up against Cam Rising in the Utes. You wonder if Chip Kelly and the Bruins are legit at this point. Are they? They proved it a little bit last week against Washington. Now you got to prove it again against Utah. You keep this up, you're going to be in good, good position, UCLA. You're going to be in good position. But this is it. This is the Utes. They are no slouch. Not one slouch whatsoever here. Texas Tech, Oklahoma State. Um, I know I said something. I think I said Spencer Sanders had a fine week last week. In fact, he's been kind of he's been kind of playing terribly. He needs to do a little bit better. Can he? Because Tech's defense is stingy. It's not great. They they can stop you, but they allow a bit too many points. So, you know, Oklahoma State has to get something going. They have to do something, can they? I mean, I, I, don't want, I mean, they're number seven for a reason. So they gotta they gotta do something. Oh Lord, pray for Michigan State though. Pray for Michigan State. Thoughts and prayers to Michigan State because C.J. Stroud might light them up. Like, this defense for Michigan State is that bad. Ohio State has been rolling, you know, typical Ohio State shenanigans in the CFP area. Mostly just rolling along through teams, steamrolling them until, you know, one or two games down the line against much, much better teams. And Michigan State is just not one of those much, much better teams this year. I'm sorry. They're just not. Washington taking on Arizona State. You got Michael Penix Jr., Lighting up the Sun Devils defense, I think, in my personal opinion, because Arizona State's defense is terrible. You know what's also terrible? Paul Christ getting fired. No, I'm just kidding. That's not terrible at all. That's kind of funny. Wisconsin fired a, a, a nine-win coach, you know, like a guy that perpetually gets nine-plus wins every year. How do you do that? That's pretty funny to me. But, yeah, I think Washington... Should take care of business against Arizona State. Why are again? Why are all these coaches getting fired like every week, man? What is going on? Like, bruh, it's only week six. I swear we've had a coach being fired during the week every week this year. But that's neither here nor there. And then Ole Miss Vanderbilt to round out the afternoon slate. Jackson Dart and the Rebels still unbeaten. They got to take on a improved Vanderbilt def. Well. Actually, no, the Vanderbilt defense is not great either. Never mind. But Bandy's a little bit improved. That's good, right? Ole Miss shouldn't have any trouble here, but 
You never know. Again, you never know. In the evening, since there is no patch web at the dark, so you know, uh, I think I think we can get the I think we can get the uh, video out for the next couple weeks actually before midnight. So so these so some of these next couple weeks will actually be Saturday videos, which I'm I'm quite happy about. Because Washington State USC is probably the best game in this window, along with the Florida State, NC State. But, you know, a duel out west with Cam Ward, Caleb Williams, and that Trojans offense. Uh, honestly, that's probably the highlight of the night slate. Washington State, a lot of Washington State fans are pretty angry that they're not ranked yet. you got to go out there and prove it first. got to go out there and prove it. You can't. Wisconsin's not an indicator that you should be ranked. We, we, know, we know this. Come on now. You gotta beat the big boys. You gotta beat bigger teams, bigger, faster, better teams. And USC has acted like that at times this year. I would say that defense is though. BYU Notre Dame number sixteen BYU and Notre Dame. You got Audrey Esteem playing pretty good for the Fighting Irish. Drew Pine, he's the guy that's gonna be starting now for Notre Dame. You know Notre Dame has two losses. BYU's been struggling to put. Other teams away, Wyoming, Utah State, just to name a couple, you know, the last couple weeks. And they kind of need to do better right now. They want to get themselves in position for something better down the road. But they, they really got to. BYU has to. If they lose this game, you can you can throw out those, those Cotton Bowl invites, you know, the Big Boy Bowls invites. You can throw out those New Year's Six invites and get ready for, like, the Independence Bowl or something. So... BYU fans, you you, you you might have to tear up your plans to go to the Cotton Bowl or wherever, you know, real soon if you can't put teams away and you can't, and you can't beat Notre Dame. If you can't beat Notre Dame, you might as well put the Cotton Bowl tickets away. South Carolina takes on Kentucky. I'm still kind of surprised that Spencer Rattler and South Carolina, the Cox, are forward too. Will Levis and the Cats, they need to rebound right now. They need to get back in the form. You know, you lost against Ole Miss in a game you shouldn't have lost. You got to do better. Clemson taking on Boston College in the ABC Saturday night game for some reason because I don't know why. You got DJ Uilagale and the Tigers. They're feeling good. They're looking better. I wouldn't say good because there's still questions. You know, Brian Barisi is that still out? And I mean, is is are the Tigers really legit? Are they really for real? That's the biggest question. I, you know, it's been partially answered, but it hasn't been fully answered. You once you get to the ACC championship, then you can fully answer it. But right now, I just don't see. It. I still don't see how this team is number five in the country either. I just don't see it. Like it, they just they just don't look legit. You you know you got Boston College with the uh, the red bandanas thing. Uh, I think that's a pretty interesting thing. You know BC's looking for an upset, so we'll see if they can get it. Iowa State taking on Kansas State. Adrian Martinez and the Cats head up to Iowa to take on the Cyclones. This will be a tough game. Um, Iowa State is no slouch. Again, they ended up they they they've taken. Games to the limit. Yeah, Iowa State has an offense that just cannot seem to score, you know, at the right times at least. But if they can keep Adrian Martinez contained with that defense, it could spell trouble. Army's defense is also pretty horrid. I don't know why. Like, you'd think, you'd think Army would have a little bit more discipline, but no. That's not the case. This defense is awful. How are the, you're probably wondering how is this team one and three? How did they lose to Georgia State, who didn't have a win until last week? Like this defense is bad. Sam Hartman, once again, might put up another 300 yard mark on him. He might. Florida State takes on NC State. You got Mike Norbell, Jordan Travis, the Knowles. They're trending up, you know. Yeah, they lost the yeah they lost the Wake Forest, but they're trending up. They're trending up, guys. 
And you got these running backs, Trey Sean Ward, Trey Benson. They've been moving good for, for the Knowles. But for Devin Leary and the Wolfpack, this is do or die right now. Florida State, you know, having one of their best seasons so far in quite some time. You want to derail that momentum. Can you derail that momentum? We'll find out. And in A&M, Alabama, I don't even know why we're talking about this game. Like, A&M has lost two games. No point in talking about this one. But there are some intriguing questions still to be answered, despite the trash talk from months ago being not relevant now. Is Bryce Young ready to go? Can Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies get it together in Tuscaloosa? You know, last year they were at A&M and College Station. And, and, you know, that environment maybe, you know, scared Alabama a little bit. Maybe scared them a little bit. And, you know, you got Jameer Gibbs, Jalen Milrow. You know, it, can can they keep this up? You know, I think Jameer Gibbs can. But if Jalen Milrow starts, can he keep this up? Will he keep this up if Young can't go? That's the biggest, that's the biggest question about this game. I, I'll be tuning in and out. Honestly, when you look at the night slate, when you look at the night slate, you just I just don't see it. Like I was struggling to pick, you know, I was struggling to pick after, you know, like the first 3 or 4 you know, games you know, for for my six highlight games cuz I got Washington State USC, Florida State NC State, Utah, UCLA, Auburn, Georgia, TCU, Kansas, and Tennessee, LSU. I, I was thinking, like, do I just do I just go ahead and be like, let me let me highlight Texas, Oklahoma, real quick, just cause? And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. That's that's not what we do here. We talk about the top 25, who's ranked in the top 25. And I was just like, yeah, might as well might as well not do that. So, um, there was an audio issue with. The NFL um, recap for Monday night. I don't know what happened. I'm not re-uploading that video. And if something happens to the audio here, uh, I'll, I'll try to fix it. Hopefully this time, because last time I didn't feel like fixing it. And you already got, I already got like seven to ten people watching. You know, for like the ten seconds that they probably watched it anyway. So. Until Saturday night at about 11.30 or so, I'll see you all, and take care, have a good night, and I'll see you Thursday when I get back from Irving teaching 7th graders English. Take care, everybody. Good night.